Hey everybody, welcome back to Satisfactory Update number 6. We are just about to uh, connect our computer belts to our storage room, and then everything's going to be great. To celebrate, we are still drinking our heavy oil shot. Cheers. Heavy oil is um, one part vodka, one part Kahlua. And it basically just tastes like Kahlua. So, there you go. It's good. So yeah, I have this computer line going through all this disaster here. But it is connected. Although, saying that, I haven't actually seen a computer come up it yet. So I might have to go figure out what's going on with that. But yeah, you can see it kind of worming its way down through there. Let's go see why we don't have computers though. It was very confusing. Like it's all. What? It's all connected, isn't it? Oh, I put it. Oh, I see. Okay. Well, that's an easy. That's an easy fix as far as fixes go. There we go. I don't think I need two stacks of computers. Uh, you can go in there. Alright, there we go. Computers are gone. So, in this episode, we are going to work on getting our elevator parts up and running. So we can get towards the next level here. Um, I also... Let's get this Pipeline Engineering Mark II done. We've got everything already... Everything other than the heavy frames, I should say. So, let's just get that done. And then I think we've done just about everything that we want, anyways. Until, um... We do our space elevator parts. So we open the next tier. I think the only thing we haven't researched is the jump pads. And honestly, I do not ever... Oh, the uh, jetpack. Yeah, maybe we'll, we'll aim towards that. Milestone reached. Improved pipelines and pumps can now be constructed, capable of Gas handling mask. increased throughput Kinda of any fluid, really as well as providing increased pressure handling for better vertical transport, respectively. Ooh, more inventory slots. We should, we should do this. I have to get fuel production up and running, which... Yeah, I haven't, I haven't played with, uh, I haven't played since you had to build, like, gas tanks for your fuel. So we'll see how that works. That's that's new for me. We got rid of this bypass line, so we can dismantle all this. I'll leave the uh, supports there, just in case. But let's see what kind of we got in tickets here. Not a lot. All right. Well. Yeah. So that's the other reason we haven't seen a lot of. The new upgrades is like, like they're, they're behind so many tickets, man. Oh, we got our Mark II pipelines now. Yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, I just need like so many tickets for things. Like, I'd love to get the steel, steel wall material and glass roof and steel roofs, but like, that's thirteen tickets. That's huge. And then there's. Like the factory cart, which isn't super hot for a vertical factory, I get that. But the boombox is three tickets. Like, man. We just gotta get going on more tickets, I guess. Anyhow, what were we doing? <laughs> uh, we, we're getting Space Marine parts. Or Space, uh, <laughs> Space Marine. Different game. Space Elevator parts. So... Let's go do that. So there's two more parts we need to build. But those parts require parts that we already have. They also require heavy frames to build the assembler. So we're going to need some frames here. Um, yeah, so the original space elevator parts will get turned into these more upgraded parts. 
we really got to fix our heavy frame production too. There's a whole other nightmare going on down there that I'm just putting off dealing with, but we are going to need to deal with it. Oh god, I don't even want to look at it. I'll show you. I'll show you when we get down there what's going on. Um, do we have? We don't have staters. Why are we not getting staters? Oh yeah, you can see I've even been up here since I've done this. I fancified the roofs on this a bunch or a bit. Both both sections are fully uh, sealed up now with roofs. Staters, staters, staters. Is this my stator line? Do we just not have? Staters? Oh god, what is going on down there? Okay, we've got to do that first. That is technically part of space elevator parts, so let's go see what is up. Iron rods, this is not the right floor. This is my stator floor here. <laughs> yep, you can tell because it's full of copper wire. Oh yeah yeah. All right, let me up. let me get here. So there's a bunch on the belt. What? Did I never connect the? There's motors. No motors is connected. I just never connected stators. Really? That doesn't seem right. Oh yeah, there it is right there. Oh. Okay, well. That's highly fixable. Um, We'll do Mark II belts. Might as well. I don't know if we're ever going to have more than 60 staters per minute, but... Just in case. Now, are you connected outside at least? One, two, three. Yeah, it looks like it. It must have been connected at one point, and then when I rejigged this room, I erased that belt. That's gotta be what happened. Okay, anyhow, that's that's solved. Get launched down the ramp again. Nope. All right. You know what? Let's put another door in here. Okay. These hot bars. Because we are using our hot bars now. Only took 50 episodes. Merger, splitter. Okay. Staters are coming into here. Good. Oops. We're going to need two manufacturers. This is going to be messy. You know what? I want these brought forward more. Because there's going to be bunch of stuff going on behind it. Alright. Oops, that is backwards. Round three. Okay. Alright. Oh, it's so close to lining up. I don't get why it does this. Oops, not too high. <laughs> we'll do the outputs first, because that's the easy part. 
What are you? Why are you yellow? I don't know what you're clipping into. Oh, you know what we should be doing as well? We're gonna need a, a storage box for these heavy frames. So actually, oh god, this might have to be fixed. Uh, I might have to move those manufacturers a bit. Can you? Can I get out here, please? Thank you. Because so I don't believe I have a heavy frame storage box. I could just put one here, I guess. Ah, let's just leave it for now. Or not a heavy frame. What are these called? Advanced frames? Versatile frame. Oh. Oh good, I hear... I hear things happening. Things happening is good. Okay. There we go. <laughs> that looks ridiculous. We're keeping it. So, what do we need here? Do we want you, or do we want you? I think you can be the modular engine, and you can be the adaptive control unit. Yeah. And you can go here. Instead of you going through this machine, you can connect to it. Wait. All right. You first. You require motors, rubber, and smart plating. Well, how many smart plating do you need in a minute? Not that much. Rubber and motors. Okay. So let's figure that out. Good with space. That's, that makes me happy. Ooh, we can use our fancy new build hop bar too. These aren't on the hotbar, but that's fine. Yeah, I gotta still figure out what exactly I want on this hotbar, but oops, not like that. All right, and the roofs are also not on the hotbar. Might need two, maybe maybe two and three should be building hotbars. Um, did I do this wrong? What's out here? Oh no, okay. Okay. Take me down. So here we need rubber and... Computers. I want to finish building industrial storages though. Just so we know our spacing. Probably not gonna need as many. But who knows? There's a lot of things I haven't attached to this storage chamber yet and there's a lot of things I haven't discovered that I need to attach to this storage thing yet so we will see uh what are we doing here rubber and something rubber and motors I believe is what it was so let's get rubber first all the way to the top rubber can go here And motors. Oh, motors is right beside rubber. That's 
Very convenient. In that case... In that case... That needs to be fixed. I can't have that. That is that's too crazy even for me. Oh right, I can't. Oh, I forgot I can't. Um, on the tops of the train stations, you can put the conveyor supports and stuff. I guess you can't do it on top of these boxes, and I keep forgetting that you can't because I really, really want to. Hopefully, none of the parts we need for um, the adaptive control unit are on whoops, are on the other side, like down in here somewhere. They might be, but let's just hope not. Oh, of course. Of course you're the wrong direction. Alright, well, let's go fix that. Um, take me up. Oh, no, take me down. Now, take me up. Oh, for God's sakes. Oh, man, how many times do you have to do this? Thank you. Okay, that should be the depth of control units. Let's go up. Let's see what we need for this other thing. Oh no, sorry, that's the motors. What is it? Modular engines, yeah. Here, you can have that. You can also have this. You, what do you need? Oh god, you need everything. Heavy frames, wiring, wiring's easy, computers, and circuit boards. <laughs> circuit boards are literally on the other end of the building. Alright. You know what we could do. And I think we're going to. Let's have three belts coming up here. And... Wait, what do you need? You need the other, uh, these wires, right? Automated wiring, yeah. So, we can... Oops, we're still in the wrong hotbar. Okay, so there's that. That's easy. Hey, you're running. Excellent. So this, this builds one per minute. That gives us 500 minutes. That's too long, man. That is too long. One every two and a half minutes. Or two and a half per minute, sorry. Okay, well, that's better. Why was that wall all crazy? That's better. No crazy walls in this factory, please. Oh, right. I gotta go ahead and do all this again. Okay. So... Two and a half per minute. That's 250 minutes, so four hours. <laughs> well, considering it's going to probably take us like an hour just to get this hooked up, that's fine. 
maybe we can go for a little explore or something. I think we're overdue for that. Actually, what I would like to do as well is once we get the jetpack researched and the fuel figured out, I would like to go see if we can find some more um, hard drives. And I think... I can't remember if I researched the... Uh, you're really not going to let me build here, eh? I can't remember if I researched the scanning for the hard drives on the, the MAM. I'm going to have to go check that out. Come on. Come on. You know you want to go on. Right there. Go right there. No, go right there. Oh, you son of a bitch. All right. Because, yeah, once we get the, like, the scanner and the jetpack, like, we're just unstoppable, basically. All the hard drives will be ours. And it'll be glorious. Let me up, please. Let me up. Oh, God. I've also noticed there's a, a key you can press to replace things. Um, I'm not sure what that is. Quick switch? No. Nope. Oh yeah, you can like, uh... Yeah, I gotta start doing that more too. Like, uh, what's it called? Well, they call, they're calling it sample, but it's like the, um, in paint and... Whatever. Oh god. The dropper tool. Okay, is there a reason? So I have pressed a button here that has done something that I don't want it to. It's on it's like it's on replace mode. Oh, uh, okay. So if I hold down control, it's snapping into somewhere I don't want it to. But I guess control was like stuck down. I don't know what was going on there. That was weird. I had that problem before. I'm pretty sure I screwed up my left control key. And sometimes it does stuff like that. Because what it was trying to do, it looked like it was trying to just replace what was already there. Which is kind of cool. But not what I wanted to do. Alright. We need... Modular frames, heavy frames. We need computers. And circuit boards. Circuit boards are going to be fun. And by fun, I mean highly annoying. Because they are far, far away. That is not what I wanted. This is what I want. So computers can go there. Heavy frames can go here. Sure. Take me up. Perfect. All right, how are we gonna bring circuit boards over here? That might not be too bad. I can just run it down like just slightly above here. Yeah, so this will be okay. Nothing to be scared about. So I'll go like that. Oh, this is gonna be fixed too. Oh, so just putting a thing here. How come it's working on this one? Interesting. Very interesting. Okay, so it does work. 
How come I couldn't make it do that before? Yeah, look at that. That's way better. I mean, it's a pretty aggressive ramp, but... Whatever. Um... You. There is no way this is reaching this whole way. Not a chance. Yeah, okay. So, how do we want to do that? Yeah, it's not going to go high enough. Alright, well, let's do this then. Vertical, please. Oh, okay. Zoop, sure. Sweet. There we go. So that should be all our space elevator parts. We've already got 16 motors. Look at that. We are missing... Did you already eat all the frames? Yeah, you did. Alright. We gotta go figure out frames. I really don't want to go figure out frames. So I know what the problem is and I don't want to deal with it. <laughs> oh no. Alright, let me out of here. Let's go figure out heavy frames. So, this is the problem with the heavy frames. We are not getting the normal frames quick enough. These modular frames. There is a massive holdup in that department. And let's go see why. Oh, not that one. Is this my... What are we building here? Okay. I've already started to fix it up a bit. Um, so the hold up here is to reinforce iron plates. This is where we're building all our frames. But it's a reinforced iron plate problem. So I would like all these to be manufacturing plates at some point. Our frames, but we have a big lag in our plates, and that's because our plate four looks like this. These are all screw manufacturers. We have two plate man assemblers, and what three six like. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15 screw assemblers. Because we are using the original screw recipe. Well, this one's already been hooked up. We're using the original screw recipe, which is uh, rods to screws, and that is no good. I've already actually started to dismantle this, which is why this looks like this. So, this is going to be our goal for next time, is we are going to take all this crap apart we are going to get our screws being made by our alternate recipe, which is the steel plates, which builds way, way more screws. And then that should solve our problems. So I am going to put a cut in here. I'm going to finish cleaning up this stuff and I will start putting together a new floor at the beginning of the next episode so until that time thank you so much for watching I really hope you enjoyed the episode if you did please give us a like and subscribe it helps us out a lot and we will see you next time and I will actually start doing mass disassembly so this doesn't take for freaking ever